Good morning. I'm here in downtown Crossville and I'm going to do a walk down Main Street to give you a little tour of what the downtown area looks like. So there on the corner is uh, Scarlett's Body Shop and across from that is Cumberland Eye Care. And then as I turn and walk north, the right is the Mayberry's Furniture Building. On the left is Express Lunch. This is one of our favorite lunch sites. He has fresh salads and sandwiches every day. In front of us is Pile and Federal. It's a local savings and loan that's been here for many years. To the right is one of the branches of Regions Bank. And this building has just recently been sold and is being renovated, but is maybe the first bank in the county. From this corner, you can see in the little stone building that was the original library. And behind that, I think, was a funeral home. And then we have a couple of churches. One of the churches is now the Genealogical Society. Across the street from me is the Historic Palace Theater. And the Palace Theater is the second movie theater in Crossfield. It was in disrepair and was closed when a new theater opened, I think, in the 70s. And then a group from downtown Crossville renovated the palace in the late 1990s, and it reopened, I think, in 2001. So now it hosts concerts and events and still offers some movies, not first-run movies, but some movies there. This corner has Christie's Pub Grub. Back behind is the new library. It's one of our gyms in Crossville. Here on the corner is the, the little stone building, used to be the Highway Patrol building. That's built out of the native crab orchard stone, and now it's a stone museum. Right in front of me is the chamber. You're coming up on the military museum. A lot of interesting things in there, definitely worth a visit. We can see a lot of renovation going on. So they're working on the courthouse. So one interesting thing is a lot of the buildings that you see are made out of native Tennessee stone. We call it crab orchard stone. But the courthouse was built out of Indiana limestone. And that's the same stone that the Empire State Building is built from. This is the courthouse annex. It used to be the post office until the post office moved out a little bit further north of town. In this building now is the tax assessor's office and the Cumberland County trustee's office. We're coming up on the military memorial. There's memorials to the Korean soldiers, the Confederate and Union soldiers. This is World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and even the American Revolution, the Vietnam Memorial. And this is to honor three of our soldiers who died in Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. One of our local restaurants, Forte's, on the back corner. The upstairs of Forte's was originally a skating rink, which I've always thought was interesting with all of the glass windows. Directly across from me is the Arches Building. So that now has a lot of office space, and it also has Cahoots General Store, which is a cute little store for gift shopping. This, I think, was originally the bus depot. Then more recently, it was 5 and 10 store, and also across the road was a five and ten store. Now we have an attorney's office, a trophy store, and the yarn patch. Next to the yarn patch is French's boot, so that's a boot and western store. We'll see more of French's shoes on down the street. So we just passed the grinder house when you saw the people sitting out on the sidewalk eating breakfast. So Grinder House is our local coffee shop and they serve breakfast, lunch, and occasionally dinner and they also are a live music venue. Right in front of me, you see Mitchell's Drugs, and this is one of the oldest pharmacies in Crossfield. Used to have a soda fountain, and it also used to have a bowling alley in that building. This is a mural that was painted by an artist from New York. If you look closely at the mural, you can see a lot of Cumberland County history in that mural. There's the State Park Bridge, the Methodist Church, the courthouse, and just different scenes depicting life in Cumberland County. This is 5th Street, and so looking back on 5th Street, there's a barber shop, and the building in the back is a private residence. Across the street, it's a triangle building, and it was triangular because the train ran behind it. So if you can kind of 
see the path of the train tracks or where the train tracks were, you'll see why the building is shaped that way. Here's a good view of Plateau Properties. Plateau Properties is the oldest wooden building in town. We do the fourth grade tours every fall and they love to go in Plateau Properties and see the big vault that's been there for over a hundred years. Across the street from Plateau Properties is what has been known in most of my lifetime as the L.P. Shanks building. It was a grocery distributor, but in the center of that was one of the first theaters. That was the Mecca Theater, the tall building in the center, and it closed when the palace opened on down the street. Now inside this building is the staging area for the Cumberland County Playhouse, and I think the bike shop is now closed. And then on the end is Social Brew. We'll take a closer look at Social Brew. In this corner is French's Shoes. French's Shoes has been here for many, many years. Carry all of the name brand footwear and purses. They have a closeout building behind there. And then you can see right behind me the Poorhouse Bistro. The Poorhouse is one of our local great restaurants. On my left is the Depot. So the trains ran until sometime in the 80s, and they, the, I think the last trains that ran were some sort of sightseeing tr uh, trains that ran periodically for sightseeing tours connected in Harriman and Chattanooga, and then those eventually also stopped running because the tracks were deteriorated. And this depot was restored by the three local rotary clubs. So now on one side of the depot, there's a gift shop, and on the other end, on this side, is meeting space. Crossville Noon Rotary meets here every week. And Rotary and downtown Crossville were also instrumental in bringing this caboose to Crossville. So this was purchased from a lady in Whitwell and restored. Across the street from the depot is the historic Taylor Hotel. And that's all been restored and is now doctor's offices. And this corner is Social Brew. Social Brew is a local pub, and they have a lot of things going on there in the evenings, trivia night, etc. North on Main Street, we'll stop here, but looking north on the right, you can see City Hall. So looking toward Walmart and Lowe's and on out toward the interstate and our new water tank. Right behind the Taylor Square sign is the Crossfield United Methodist Church. So that concludes our walk through downtown Crossfield. Come for a visit and experience some of the wonderful local dining and shops that we have here in downtown Crossfield.